Hello, hello. Um, I'm starting a new series. It's not going to be an every week thing, but it's going to be maybe once or twice a month. And it's going to be called File Folder Friday. And I know it's not Friday today, but um, I filmed five videos yesterday and um, not a good day, actually, for technical issues and mess ups. I'm going to show you some of the mistakes I made at the end. Um, but we're going to start today with File Folder Friday. The reason I'm doing it is because I managed to get hold of a huge amount of the swinging file folders from Facebook Market Facebook Marketplace. So I'm going to be using up my stash of those. And I'm going to be basically utilising ideas that I've seen on YouTube and Pinterest and creating something with these file folders. So the first thing that I made a complete disaster with yesterday was um, the envelope expansion things. Um, I'm, I'm not sure what they're called. I've seen lots and lots of versions of these. The last person I watched was a few months ago and it was Rachel from Roxy Creations. So I know she's done one. I know Gail has made one and I'm pretty sure Wendy has too. So there are lots of videos out there um, I'm just going to um, use these two pieces today. So I've got a whole file folder here, which I'm going to use, and a bit of a file folder. So the first one I'm going to do, I'm going to do hopefully a couple of variations of this, is just to make them a little bit different to what I've seen, I'm going to do this with a kind of portrait, portrait style envelope. And the first thing we need to do is just glue these envelopes down. Now, because I want to keep this fairly quick, I'm not sure that I'm going to be, oh, whoops, probably going to glue that shut. And that is one of the mistakes I made on one of the previous videos. I actually glued my envelope shut. I don't know how I managed to do it, um, but I got glue obviously inside of my envelope. Now, I have been doing this with either three or four envelopes um, I'm pretty sure you could use more if you want to you just need to work out your project to decide how many envelopes is best so that's very very quickly done I'm just going to grab my little cutting board and I want out my secure ruler safest ruler I have for doing something like this I'm going to use my craft knife and I'm just now going to cut the top off those envelopes. Now they're sealed. So it's going to turn them into pockets. Now, um, the reason I decided on this for my first project for File Folder Friday was because um, Rachel, Ra um, Rachel Scott, no, Michelle Scott is doing a project using envelopes because obviously we all have a lot of envelopes. I'm just going to make sure I haven't glued any of these shut. I really don't know how I managed it before because it was glued fairly way down, way down the envelope. Okay, so that's that part done. So, the first thing I'm going to do is grab my scoreboard. These are not cut perfectly because I cut the metal top off using a pair of scissors um, but this edge should be fairly square so I'm gonna put my envelopes in here and I'm gonna score a quarter of an inch above my envelopes okay that's my first score line and I know that I've got double here, so I'm going to obviously have enough of my file folder to make another one using these envelopes because I've got hundreds of these. Now I'm folding that over and putting my envelopes inside. And again, I'm going a quarter of an inch above that. And I'm then going to go quarter of an inch again and I'm going to put in four score lines four score lines okay to give me some kind of movement and room for expansion 
that's what I'm going for there. Okay. So let's put that aside now. And I'm going to grab my trimmer. So I need to decide how much of a flap I want. And oh, I've got something wrong. There we go. Um, I don't want it huge. So I'm going to just cut there. And now I need to cut to the right width of my envelopes. And I'm going to leave roughly, I don't know, a quarter of an inch again. Either check me out with the inches. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, I'm going to leave roughly a quarter of an inch, an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch either side. I do want a little bit of room. Okay, so our envelopes will go in there. And I'm just going to slightly crease those. That will go there. I've I don't think I've ever had such a bad day with filming. I've had some bad days, don't get me wrong, um, but that one was particularly bad. So we've got that. Those are ready. I'm not going to do anything to those. You can ink them if you want. Um, you're not necessarily going to see a whole lot of the inking though. Now what I'm going to do is grab... I've got a huge scrap box. Whoops. And I'm just going to pull out absolutely anything to, to cover this, okay? Just something that um, will work for the theme you've got going on. It doesn't matter which way round the papers go. I think what I'm going to do is trim, trim this bit here. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go for people, yeah, I'm going to go for people here. So the first thing I'm going to do is just glue this front panel, turn that over. Okay, so that's that. And now I'm just going to trim. I don't want to put any coverage over the creases because it makes it a little bit more tricky. That's great. I'll link everything at the end. So this is going to be my back panel. And I think I'm going to go for this text here. Now I'm going to glue up until my first score line. I'm going to leave, the whole point of this is I actually want it to still not to be seen that it is a swinging file or a file folder. I don't want to hide the fact. I actually quite like the green. Some of them are buff coloured which I quite like too. A bit of glue there. So I'm going to trim this one. And for my front flap, which is going to go that way, I'm going to use this piece here. I'll do that piece there. I'm going to use that side. And again, I'm only gluing up until that score line. Whoops, wrong edge. Never mind. I was going to use that side. <laughs> okay. Happy with this. I'm going to ink it all now. So that is now done. Um, I know I said I probably wasn't going to sew, but I actually really want to. So I'm going to sew around each of my panels. Give me a moment. Okay. So that's all sewn. Um, not the perfect sewing job, but it's done. Now I'm going to grab a piece of this scrap and 
um, my, I think this is a one inch hole punch. I'm going to cut out, actually that's quite nice, might as well use that end. And I'm going to cut out another circle of file folder, glue these together. And this is where you kind of need to be a little bit careful that you get this right because... Um, if you make your flap too big, you won't be able to get this in, um, which is a mistake I made on a previous one. I'll show you the mistakes later. Ink ground here. So what we've got is that this is going to have an eyelet and this needs to have a little piece here. Now... I don't want to cover his head up so although his head is half chopped off that's okay <laughs> that's okay I'm just gonna hold that in place and grab my board grab my pokey tool and put a hole through there like so and I'm gonna get a paper fastener Let's go, let's go one of those, put this through here. Now the secret is not to make this too tight. You can put a spent eyelet behind here like Wendy did. Um, I, I do that quite often but for this, this is quite a small project so I don't want that sticking out too far. I just need to make sure I'm leaving a little bit of I can't see because my software stopped working again. Um, you just need to make sure you've got a little gap here to be able to put your fab your thread round. So I'm going to open my eyelet, but I'm not going to tighten that too much. That's perfect, I think. Yeah, there's wiggle room. I'm going to get my glue. I'm just going to make sure that's flat. Put a little bit of glue around here. And then I've got my surgical tape, any tape will do. Um, I'm just gonna double check that's secure by adding the glue. And then with my little foldy thing, bone, this is not a bone folder as such, my scoring tool. I'm just going to make sure that's nice and firm and you can see I've got the room because I can slide this underneath there okay so that's on that's good now I'm gonna grab somewhere this one will do grab a pencil and I'm just gonna put a little dot there Grab this, put my hole in. Eyelet, and I'm going to set that like so. So that's all ready. Now I need to work on my my envelopes. This is really important because this was another mistake I made. I actually put this the envelopes in that way up when I put them in <laughs> so of course it was absolutely useless so that's another mistake you need to kind of watch for I'm using double-sided tape making my life simple um, I'm just going to run a little strip of double-sided tape down my envelope cut that I love this glass mat, but it's very noisy. So I apologize for the clanking. So I'm gonna line my next envelope up. And put that together. And another piece of tape.
so my envelopes are all together it's really important that you don't put your tape too close to the top because you will actually stick together your envelopes but we now have that bring in this I'm turning my envelopes over so this is the back and this is where I made my mistake last time because I turned it over and I wasn't paying attention when I put it into the little folder I'm gonna add some tape to this and this is after many mistakes the best way I worked out to put it in so it closes well because if you put these in wrong um, this folder won't close so what I'm going to do is lift this flap and line my envelopes up okay and then I'm loosely holding those in place as I close that flap and that then gives me the right amount of room here for this okay I hope that makes sense um, but it can go horribly wrong if you just stick those down I haven't lined it up perfectly but I'm okay with that after some of the other disasters I've had that's no big deal now I'm adding some tape to the front and I'm going to close that over okay and then we have our little ephemera what's it There we go, so that will now, there you go, not bad, that's one, one done. Okay, for this one, I've got bigger envelopes, but I'm not going to be doing any anything too major for this. I'm going to glue my envelope shut. Probably would have been a good idea for this particular one to do more than three envelopes, but I'm going to leave it at three. Line those up. Just cut the tops off the same as I did before. This one I'm hoping is going to be a lot quicker and not as complicated. Okay. this time I'm taking my file folder okay I'm using the folded edge to make sure that's flat and I'm just going to make sure I've got a square cut that edge okay then I'm going to put my envelopes roughly in place I only need one I'm not doing any measuring I don't know if you've noticed no measuring and now I'm going to leave a bit of a gap and I'm going to cut that edge off. So this is the crease, the fold. I'm going to put my envelope in place and slide. But I want to leave about, well, at least half an inch. Um, let me, let me cut. And then I'll measure that and tell you how much space I have left. So if I put my envelope in to the crease, it's three quarters of an inch or two centimetres. So I've left a bit more gap here. So for speed purposes, I'm going to show you my idea without actually decorating. I'm going to use my slot punch for this and I'm just going to guesstimate the centre and pop those holes out. This would work just the same with a round punch, okay? So this is just for speed to show you an idea that I had. Rather than decorate it, um, it can all be decorated afterwards. But I'm going to do the envelopes in the same way.
so now my envelopes are in place this is fine to decorate afterwards it can still be done this way I'm gonna put my tape on the back there in the same way I did my envelopes are not quite straight this time round that's okay <laughs> I'm going to take the back of the tape off. I mean, obviously you could use glue for this. It doesn't have to be tape. Right, now, I'm just going to allow, when I fold this over, I'm just going to allow it to move the envelopes. And now the front. Hold that. Now we have... It would have been nice to ink these envelopes. This one can be closed using some seam binding or some ribbon, sari silk, anything you like. Don't need a lot. But if you've got larger ephemera that you'd like to send out in Happy Mail, that's just an alternative way of creating one of these little folders. So that one and that one. Um, this one is the one that I made <laughs> that did work out. And this one is using um, the Mega Mix and Match Kit. So that one. And here are a couple of errors. So <laughs> this one I ended up having to close with elastic. Um, and also, can you see the envelope stick out of the side? Because I ended up cutting down my file folder too much. It still works, um, but it's not fabulous. Um, the other thing I did, um, in this one, um, I decided to glue the whole envelope down, which gives me very little room in these two pockets. It also, I did the closure wrong because I didn't have room to put the circle here. So I thought, that's okay, I'll just put it there. Um, and then I actually stuck that down. So nothing can go under there. <laughs> that's, um, I have no idea what I'm going to do with that as a clip for a closure. Um, yeah, so that one was a bit of a disaster. The one that I glued the envelopes I did this whole bit by gluing the envelopes upside down so this crease was at the top here um, and of course the envelopes didn't open so that was a disaster as well and various other things happened along the way um, but those are just a few things to try and avoid make sure you've got your envelopes in place so I just thought I'd quickly show you I did actually go back and decorate um, this particular one and this particular paper is going to be out on Tuesday, so I just thought I'd show you that quickly. I hope you found it useful. I know there are lots of these videos out there. I just wanted to have a go. Why not? You know. These will probably be used for Happy Mail. So thank you very much for joining me. I will see you all soon.